Hello. Welcome to the SHEQ dashboard, featuring charts and hyperlink worksheet names on the left. On the left, you'll find worksheet names hyperlinked to their respective sheets. Clicking any of these will take you directly to that sheet. Next to each sheet, you'll see their corresponding reports. This is an overview of the risk assessment worksheet. It records all current and residual risks at workplaces. As you can see, if you change the probability and impact drop-down lists in this risk assessment, the risk ratings will update automatically. The risk matrix table is located in the next worksheet. Risk ratings are based on probability and impact. Probability indicates likelihood, while impact shows consequences. Current and residual ratings help prioritize and manage risks effectively. This is an overview of the risk assessment matrix. This workbook contains over 30 worksheets, each with its own table and custom report. These reports are designed to capture data specific to their respective table rows. You can set a date range to view medical costs between specified dates. Check the total number of employees who have gone for medicals from the department name entered in cell E7. For the total employees who have undergone medicals, adjust the dates in cells J3 and J4 of the summary table. Remember to always use D11 as the search box for all worksheet tables. A scroll back button appears. Clicking it will return the table to its previous position. Enter the item name and click search. The cell containing that item will be highlighted in blue, while the entire row will be highlighted in gray. Clear D11 and click search. The first empty cell will be highlighted in blue. If you enter an item that is not included in the table, a message will pop up in a dialog box indicating that the item is not found. Click the Add New Rows button to insert a new row at the bottom of the table. Once added, enter your data and then click the Scroll Backs button. To delete items, simply click the Delete button and enter the item name from column D within the table range. This allows you to remove any specific item, including those found in the middle of the table. Make sure to enter the exact name to ensure the correct item is deleted. Click the Save as PDF button to save a specific range of the table. You'll then be prompted to select a folder where you want to save this range. Enter the name of the range you want to save and be sure to select the range without including the table column headers. However, when using Save as Word, make sure to include the table headers in your selection for correct formatting. The PDF will display a preview and you need to wait for a moment until a message appears, letting you know the saving process is complete. Once you see the message, Click OK. Then, navigate to the folder where you saved the document. You can now open the PDF file to view its contents. Now you can scroll down to see the content. This is how the PDF is saved, it automatically adjusts based on the number of characters in each cell. To filter data, start by entering a column header name. Next, input the specific item name you're looking for. The code will fill to the table, displaying only the items that match your entry. If you want to return any hidden rows, simply click the Unhide button. This feature allows you to reveal all hidden rows that were previously filtered out. You can apply this filtering and unhiding process to any column within the table range, providing you with flexibility in managing your data effectively. Filtering data in an Excel table allows users to isolate specific information, identify trends in large datasets, and create customized views for efficient reporting, enhancing analysis and decision-making without altering the original dataset. To set a daily reminder message, click the Set Daily Reminder button on the dashboard. Use the time displayed in cell P1 as your reference. It's important to remember to specify AM or PM each time you set the time, as this ensures your reminder triggers at the correct hour. After setting the time, enter the message you want to be read aloud when your specified time arrives. 
Once the time is reached, the reminder message will pop up, ensuring you don't miss your important notifications throughout the day. Setting a daily reminder message helps improve organization by keeping important tasks top of mind, enhances time management by prompting timely actions, and reduces the risk of forgetting critical deadlines or appointments, leading to increased productivity. To save a report, it's crucial to ensure that the calculation options are set to automatic. You can find this setting in the Formulas tab of your application. This way, any changes you make will be automatically calculated, ensuring that your report is always up to date before you save it. Always use item names or IDs located in column D of the worksheet table for accurate data management. When saving data, make sure to change the accident number, as we are only storing information for a single row of the worksheet table. This ensures that the data remains organized and relevant to that specific incident. To save your report, click the Save as PDF button. You will then be prompted to enter the name of the folder where you want the report to be saved. After that, choose a name for the report itself, it's preferable to use the ID number for easy reference. Once you've entered both the folder name and report name, click OK to complete the process and save your report. Next, navigate to the folder where you saved the report and open the file. Once it's open, scroll through to view the contents of the report. These reports are designed with a fixed range, and the row widths will automatically adjust to fit all the content from the cells in the worksheet table, ensuring everything is clearly visible. Basically, this is how all the reports in this workbook are saved. The process for saving as a PDF is identical to the method used for saving as a Word document. Both options follow the same steps. Hello, are you enjoying? So, this is how the reminder message we set is read aloud. Once you hear the message, you can simply click OK to acknowledge it. Are you enjoying this overview of the SHEQ Automated Data Capturing Workbook? If so, please take a moment to subscribe for more updates. Additionally, be sure to visit my website, I will include the link in the description below. Sharing this link with your friends and colleagues is also appreciated, as it helps spread the word about these valuable templates. Thank you for your support. When you change the expiry date, the remaining day's status will be automatically updated in the status column of the table. This feature ensures that you always have the most current information at your fingertips, allowing for better tracking and management of deadlines. You can easily see at a glance how many days are left before the expiry date, making it easier to stay organized. Now, the dashboard chart will automatically update. Now, let's say we want to update the employee medical expenses on the dashboard. First, we navigate to the Medical Surveillance Register Worksheet. In this worksheet, locate the Medical Expenses column and make the necessary changes to reflect the updated costs. After you've entered the new expenses, return to the dashboard. There, you'll see the total expenses reflected in cell H21, ensuring that all data is current and accurately displayed for easy reference. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe for over 50 upcoming SHEQ tutorials.